Are you struggling to pass the CPA exam? Did your review course fail to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, the number one course supplement, where the right teacher makes all the difference. All right, here's a sim on the number one FAR topic, cash to accrual. For each numbered item, choose from the list which answer applies. Choose only one. An answer from the list may be chosen once, more than once, or not at all. Here's the list. And choose earned this year, collected next year. What would that be for? What would be earned this year, collected next year? How about ending accounts receivable? Because ending balance of accounts receivable represents what was earned this year, collected next year. All right, how about what was earned last year, collected this year? That would be beginning accounts receivable. How about earn next year, collected this year? Well, that would be the ending balance of unearned revenue. Unearned revenue is a liability, current liability, and represents amounts that were collected this year that'll be earned next year. What was earned this year, collected last year? Well, that would be the beginning balance of unearned revenue because unearned revenue beginning balance was collected in the prior year and will be earned this year. Okay, what was incurred next year as an expense, but paid this year? That would be the ending balance of your prepaid insurance or prepaid rent, because you paid for it this year, but you won't incur it as an expense until next year, so you set it up as a prepaid expense in the current year. What was incurred this year, paid last year? That would be the beginning balance of prepaid insurance or prepaid rent. What was incurred this year, paid next year? Okay, those are accrued expenses and accrued liabilities. Expenses incurred in the current year, but won't be paid until next year. That entry at the end of the year is a debit to an expense and a credit to a current liability. What was incurred last year, paid this year? That would be the beginning balance of the accrued payable. Because accounts payable at the beginning of the year was last year's expense paid this year. So now that we've gone through the list, let's go to our first numbered item. Number one says beginning unearned revenue, the current liability, unearned revenue, the beginning balance of it. So what happens with unearned revenue is you collect cash in advance and then you earn it. The beginning balance represents what was collected last year and earned this year. So for number one, beginning unearned revenue, earned this year, collected last year. And when we earn it, we'll debit unearned revenue and credit revenue or fees earned. And that's usually a year end adjusting entry. Number two, ending prepaid insurance. So prepaid insurance at year end represent amounts that were paid this year, but won't be incurred until next year. So ending prepaid insurance, that's next year's expense. We paid it this year and when we did, we set it up as a prepaid insurance. We debited prepaid insurance we credited cash. So the amount that's still in prepaid insurance at year end is the amount that's paid this year, incurred next year. Number three, beginning accounts receivable. Well, beginning receivables, they were earned last year. They were collected this year, but they're not this year's earnings. So they were earned last year, collected this year. And when they're collected this year, we'll debit cash and credit accounts receivable but those collections will not impact the income statement this year because they were last year's earnings. Ending accounts payable. Ending payables represent this year's expense incurred this year, paid next year. That's what we call an accrued expense at year end. And the adjusting entry required is to debit an expense and credit a current liability. And if you don't make that entry at year end, that income would be overstated because you're leaving out an expense. What about working capital? If you don't make that entry at year end, debiting the expense and crediting the payable, your current liabilities would be too low because you're leaving out a payable. And current liabilities too low, working capital too high. Because current liabilities and working capital, they have an inverse relationship. And I hope you notice what we're trying to do. We always want to anticipate the next question. That's the I-75 difference. We're not just looking at a question for the sake of this particular answer. 
we want to say, okay, I understand what you just said here, but what else could they ask me at the same time? So ending accounts payable represent what's incurred this year, paid next year. Number five, beginning prepaid insurance. So beginning prepaid insurance, that represents amounts that were paid last year, but are this year's expense because they're going to be incurred this year. Last year, when we paid it, we set up a prepaid insurance account. This year, we have that beginning balance of that prepaid insurance account. That amount is going to be incurred this year as the insurance policy begins to expire. And by year end, we'll probably have to expense that full amount of beginning prepaid insurance. Why? Because it was incurred this year, paid last year. Number six, beginning accounts payable. And if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. And then don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you need more help with the CPA FAR exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75 where the right teacher makes all the difference.